Today I will be teaching you guys how to run and install the PyFisher tool on GitHub. So basically what a Fisher tool is, it generates a fake website modeling Instagram or Facebook or whatever other software that you want to run. And it models that website, it's completely fake. You send it to the person who you want to fish his uh, information. And once you send it to them, it will model the Instagram page or the Facebook or any traditional website you want to use. And when they enter their password and their email, it will it will show up on your end. That is what a phishing tool is. So today I will be teaching you how to use that. More specifically, we are going to be using PyFisher by Kasruda on GitHub. I will leave a link in the description. First thing you want to do is download the Docker. Docker is what is essential to run the PyFisher tool. And if you don't have it, then you, will, you won't be able to run it. So first thing I want you guys to do is go to docker.com and sign up, get started, and then download the Docker tool. After that, what you want to do is go to the GitHub repository that I will leave in the description, or if you can't find it, it is github.com kasruda slash pyfisher. So first thing you want to do is make sure that you have Docker up and running. So Docker, you have it all set up, you logged in and everything. And then right after that, you want to open your terminal if you are on Mac, or if you are on Windows, you can use whatever you use for Windows. But I will be using Terminal, so let me open that. Right. So I will open this Terminal. This is assuming that I already have Docker up and running. Then what I want to do is I want to copy the GitHub link, copy it, go back into my Terminal, type git clone, and then paste it. This will clone the repository and into your MacBook. After all that is done, what you want to do is CD into the PyFisher. And then you will check on the files. So right after that, you're going to go into back into the repository. This is depending on whether you know what uh, uh, platform you're running on. So what you're going to do is after this, uh, get clone repository, CD PyFisher, and then what you're going to do is you're going to copy this to install all the modules. I already have the modules installed, but I'll just run it for the heck of it. So over here it says requirement already satisfied. That's because I have it done. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the python3 pyfisher.py. This is assuming that you have uh, Python already installed onto your Mac OS. If you don't, then you need to restart from the beginning with uh, Python installed. So you can go back right now if you don't already have Python installed, I will leave a link in the description. Restart this video and then continue back from where you left off. So I'm going to do Python 3 pyfisher.py. Python 3 is just the model that I'm running. If you're running an older model, then it will be py just Python uh, pyfisher.py. But since I'm running the Python 3, it's going to be Python 3. Then right after this, it's going to do pip3 install requests. And then after I install all the modules and everything is satisfied, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this command right here. sudo docker run rm.kastruda, whatever it is. This is the essential command. So you need to have docker up and running in the background for this command to work. So sudo docker run, and then what you're gonna do, you're gonna put in your device's password and then there we go, it should start working. Give it a second, I'll skip till after it's done because this part may take a few minutes, so I'll skip. Right, so it's gonna ask you if you have a local X auth token. I personally don't, so I'm just gonna put N. And then it's gonna ask you for the fingerprint and then it will magically teleport you into the next page. There we go. So now we have all these options right here. It's going to be PyFisher by Kastruda. Uh, shout out to him. These are all the tools that you can model. For example, we are going to try Facebook. But I want you guys to see that we have every, anything ranging from Facebook to Instagram, Gmail, um, cryptocurrency, iCloud. Basically, you have a lot of options. And then you can do a custom option all the way at the end. But so what we are going to do is we're going to test the Facebook or we're, you know what, let's try the Instagram. Let's try Instagram. So 
sometimes uh, it'll give us a one-time password so let's just put a one-time password page why not you don't really have to but it just depends on who you're targeting uh, we don't have a shadow URL we don't need a redirection and then it will take us to this page will it will generate all the information needed then it's going to ask you if you're sure that you want to continue connecting Obviously, you're sure you want to put yes. Then it's going to generate all these URLs. So these are basically the servers that are hosting our fake uh, Instagram page. But we want to try, we're going to try two different things. We're going to try the URLs that it gives us, and then we're going to try a custom link. So when it asks us over here, do you want to try a custom link? Let's put yes. You don't have to. It works either way. So let's put yes. So for, for example, see it shows over here, the mass URL says get, get unlimited followers for Instagram, blah, blah, blah. We want to make it convincing. So we're going to try putting Instagram.com. And then bait words, for example, if we want to lure in our, um, our target with, for example, if we're going to send him a reel, we're going to say, hey, check out this reel. Or if we want to target someone that with like with a mask identity we're going to say for example reset your password let's try this one reset password and then it will generate the url over here instagram.com so reset password and then it, this is the server so what we're going to do is we're going to test it out right here we're going to copy this we're going to go into over here new tab and we'll paste this Obviously, it's going to be flagged as dangerous. I'll show you a way to bypass it. But I just want to show you how the website looks. So this is the website for Instagram. It's going to show us this. And then let me just show you quickly in, in our terminal. It's going to show all this information. Obviously, I'm going to blur it out for privacy reasons. Uh, but yeah, and then it'll show us all the PyFisher data. What we want to do right now is we're going to test it out. We're going to put uh, test and then the password we'll show right now. And then we're going to put login. After we log in, it's going to ask us if we get a one time password or for two step, two step verification. Um, this, is, this is if our target has 2FA on. So they're going to check their email and all that stuff. And then they're going to see that they got a two step verification. And then they're going to input this. For example, and then there we go. After that, they will be redirected into their Instagram. So this is the official Instagram page. So they will be redirected to their account to make it, you know, somewhat convincing so they can forget about what happened. And then when we go over back to our terminal, it's going to show us that the Instagram account username is test and it's going to show us the password right here is test123. And then for the one-time password, it's going to give us the one-time password. And basically, that's how you do it. Be sure to only use this for experimental purposes. This is not meant to target anyone for malicious uh, activities. This is not meant to harm anyone. This is only experimental. I am not responsible for nothing that may affect anyone. Be sure to subscribe. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you need any help, just comment down below and I will respond to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much.